crowning with thorns. Following our sequence of events as we talk about the Passion of Christ as we lead up to uh, Good Friday, we're going to talk a little bit about the crowning with thorns. After our Lord was brutally scourged at the pillar, he was dragged away into a little cell, kind of like a prison cell. And there he spent the night, that Holy Thursday night, leading up to Friday. And our Lord was totally humiliated. They, they forced him to sit on a stone. And then they started to mock him, make fun of him. They would uh, smack him in the face. They would punch him in the face. They would genuflect to him, Hail King of the Jews. He actually would spit in his face too. So one of them had a devilish idea to give him a crown. So that he said, well, if he's a king, he should have a crown. So outside they went and they were able to find some rose bushes and they were able to weave a crown of thorns. And they approach our Lord and they press that crown of thorns on his sacred brow. You can see the blood spurting out of his brow, trickling down his face. Fimbo Gibson, they, they say, Hail King of the Worms. They bow down to him. They spit upon him. They spit, spit on him. They make fun of him. And then they take a stick, which was supposed to be an imitation scepter that a king holds in his hands. They took that and they started to hit him over the head with that stick taunting him, mocking him, deriding him, making fun of him. In all that time our Lord does not open his mouth. He was like a lamb led to the slaughterhouse. He opened up, he did not open up his mouth. One of the many messages that we can derive from this sorrowful mystery in the Passion of Christ, which is the third sorrowful mystery, is how much our Lord was humiliated and how proud we are at times. So when we have to go through humiliations, whatever they might be, it wouldn't be a bad idea to look at our Lord's crown of thorns and pray this prayer. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine.